<clears throat> hey there. It's clearing my throat. Okay. What we've got today is we got a new Let's Play. Are you excited? I'm excited about this one. Uh, well, a little excited because uh, I don't really know much about the game, but <laughs> yeah, let's do it. Uh, this one is going to be called uh, The Whispered World. Um, I know it's a point and click graphic adventure that came out from. Uh, Came out in 2009, originally in Germany or something like that. I actually did a little bit of research on this one. Um, I heard a few good things about it. It looked interesting. Uh, it's got all hand painted graphics, apparently. I'm um, always a fan of a little uh, bit of artwork. And I'm a fan of point and click graphic. I can't even say that word. Graphic adventures. So, um, yeah. Uh, other than that, I really don't know what the story's about, like, at all. Um, I happened to get it, um, on one of the bundles, again, the Humble Bundles, you guys check that out, I've got a lot of games on there, um, so yeah, give them your support, uh, let's give this guy a try, I hope I like it, I hope you like that I like it, I don't know if that makes sense, but, you know, let's just play, alright, so, the Whispered World, here we go. I'm gonna show you guys the game from the beginning, even with the credits. I normally skip that part, but today you're gonna see it. There it is. Never heard of that company. I don't know how to pronounce that other company's name. Didalic? Yeah, already it looks uh, very beautiful. I'll have a my cursor up here. Everything hand painted. Now there's some credits, I don't care about that right now, and there's some bonus stuff. <laughs> Digging the aesthetic so far. Yeah. Alright, um, let's see what my options are in here. Subtitle Voices. I'm gonna go without subtitles for right now. Uh, I just find them distracting. This whole cat out. Uh, sorry for you guys who like them. I, I, I just start reading the words rather than paying attention to what's going on, and I sometimes miss stuff, so I'm just gonna turn that off. We don't. Do? You might as well stay here. Oh, I'll go and. You might, 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 you might as well. You might as well stay here. I go to save the world. That is, uh, kind of wrong. Let's see here. I'm gonna turn the volume down here. Come on. Can I grab that? Nope. Wow, this is still in. Come on, thank you. This middle one's kind of funky. Alright, can. We're gonna go to the main menu. I think that does it. Let's uh, start us on the game. Let's see what's going on. Yeah, so here's that company I'm sorry. Didalic. I think it's how you pronounce that. Mm hmm. Leaves. Game. It may make you sad to hear it, but this is the last story I'm going to tell you. Wow. I know. You like to hear funny stories with jolly people and a happy end. But I don't have the strength for that anymore. What difference would it make if I lied to you? Well, my last story takes place in a land far away, a land that is about to die. It begins in the autumn forest. This is the story of Sadwick, the sorrowful clown. Sadwick is sleeping uneasily, like every night. And he doesn't even know that he'll destroy the world in the course of just a few days. That's what way to make an intro.
Holy cow animations. Very bizarre. What so, a nightmare. Chapter one. Every night it's the same. I can hardly remember the last time I had a decent night's sleep. Spot? Where could Spot be? He usually comes to see me in the morning. Alright, let's uh, look around a little bit. That's what adventure games are all about. Oh, hat. I guess I need my hat, but I can't get it. No. Okay, what is this? Looks like I got a pouch here. Torn note. Ben? Yes? Did you put that note up here? Yeah, I wrote down the instructions for your human cannonball act. My human cannonball act? Sure. You must be able to do something useful, right? And Grandpa is getting too old for that kind of thing. That was a... Uh, that was a diss. A burn, if you will. Go on. Wait, how do I... No, no, over here. Oh, okay, I've got to hold down. Hmm, what was that note again? Ah, uh, yes. I remember now. It's where Ben sketched out how the human cannibal act is supposed to work. It's so unfair. He can even draw better than me. That's supposed to be me. Ben didn't get the fearful expression on my face right, though. The plug is attached to the mouth of the barrel. It's the only way to get enough pressure to blow me hundreds of yards into the air. <sighs> oh, Boy, how I hate this act. The most important thing is a solid barrel for the cannon. After all, the cannoneer shouldn't be harmed when he blows me sky high. It's good. I mean, thinking about other people. The most important thing, after all, okay. parachute. A parachute should provide a safe landing. Then there's nothing to worry about, is there? Ha 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 A small bomb or some gunpowder are sufficient. Just load the cannon and light the fuse. Everything else will turn out fine. Seriously, that's what it says. Everything else will turn out fine. <laughs> I can't believe this is real. Ben must have put it up there for a reason. Probably as a reminder that I'm not capable of doing anything right without his help. Okay, let's see what... You're standing in the way. Small flame of hope. For what noble cause do you fight so courageously? And yet, eventually, finally, terminally, even you will extinguish. Hmm. So he's a poet. Ben told me this kind of candle burns indefinitely. I say it's just pretending. <laughs> oh, what do you call it? Uh, pessimist. Let's pick it up anyway. Let me pick it up. Ouch! What? Oh, damn! This is going to blister. Why do I have to be so clumsy? Okay, we got a ring down. Oh, rug. Hello? Are you really dead? Pretty is. Or are you just taking a nap? 
He has no insights. Can't be sure enough for this kind of thing. This flag reminds me of one of the most basic principles of life. No matter what you have accomplished, no matter how big your paws or how sharp your teeth are, you can still end up being a doormat for a band of circus clowns. <sighs> Worse to by dude. The rug may look fluffy, but I'm not touching it. I don't want to smell like a dead bear when I go into the woods. <laughs> Their head. This flag reminds me of one of them at no matter how you can stick. <sighs> What's the guy going on around here? Anything over here? No. Okay, we don't know. Our circus costumes are spittle repellent. That's quite important, especially when you play the bigger towns. Spittle repellent? That's Ben's spare hat. He doesn't like to wear quite as much as he used to. He says it sags too much since I spilled all the starch. I can't reach it. Ben doesn't like me to wear his hats. He says they always sag so pitifully afterwards. Mm. I can't reach it. That's too bad. Okay, so I'm guessing I'm gonna have to reach it at some point. In order to light a fire, it has to be open first. Too bad the handle has broken off. Okay, so I think I need a handle. Our old stove. The handle is broken off. So I want to start a fire for some reason. That's no use. The handle is broken off. Okay, so it's, I, I need a handle to open this up. And I need to light a fire. I have a feeling it's going to be with that. I guess somebody should blow out the suit. Someone who's taller than I am. And not an asthmatic. And who doesn't fear dying from suit poisoning. Somebody other than me, then. Wow. Um, he's a hypochondriac. That's the word I was looking for. Ah, yes. The broken stovepipe. Quite funny how the mind works. Since the handle broke, I made a fuss about how cold it is. Forgetting how I always complained about the smoke before. If only my arm was longer, and thinner, and it had two more elbows, then I could reach in and open the stove from the inside. Oh, okay. You think the nozzle's get a handle, let's put something in there. Okay, so let me see there's nothing else I'm able to play with in here. Okay, I'll go try the door. Ben? Is that you out there? Is it me out here? I don't believe him. Sitting in the trailer all day long, asking me if it's me out here. Don't you have chores to tend to? Nope. All right, all right, I'm coming. A dozen poorly assembled boards hanging from two loosely attached hinges. They protect me from wild predators, murderers, and all the other dangers in life. It's a warrior, isn't it? Or such is the illusion. Right. Chadwick, come here at once. Out of the world. The day's already wasting away. <sighs> right. Another happy day in the colorful world of the circus. Spot, don't just lie around like that. What's wrong with you? What do you think's wrong with him? Maybe he's sick, the plague, or food poisoning. Don't talk such nonsense. Worm fungus, blue pox, it could be anything. He's thirsty, Sadwick. That's what happens if you don't carry out your chores properly. Spot can take it. He's tough. You've got a lot to learn. Caterpillars don't grow very old. Not if you treat them like this anyway. You better get used to the idea. You're just saying that to annoy me. I'm serious. You better give him something to drink. Yeah, whatever, Ben. 
Come on, let's go, Spot. We get you something to drink. And after that, maybe we can finally do something useful. Hmm, okay. Um, go that way. Let me talk to Ben some more. That sounds fun. Oh, hey, shovel. No, that's not a spoon. Strange. Where did I even get that idea from? That's Grandpa's shovel. He hmm. digs for roots and onions with it. Working in a compost heap, I think he stirs the soup with it, too. I can take that. Nice, okay. So, make sure we don't need to talk to Ben anymore. Maybe that's Ben. Hi, Ben. Hi, sleepyhead. How often do I have to tell you? Rehearsals start at sunrise. It's not my fault. I slept very badly last night. Slept badly? What's that supposed to mean? Not those nightmares again. They're not ordinary nightmares. They always feel so real. The earthquake, the craggy rocks. Good heavens, Sandwig. Now pull yourself together. You're a clown, a jester, an entertainer. You're supposed to make people happy. Not depressed? Word. Oh, hey, now I get to talk to him. When's our next performance? Uh, who knows? This stretch of land is just as deserted as all the others we recently passed through. People are leaving the land. They fear the end of the world. Why? Can't someone else play the clown? And what do you want to do instead? Lion taming. <laughs> just face it, Sadwick. You're not talented enough for the big acts. You can't juggle. You can't throw. You can't even perform your human cannonball act properly. I'm just fed up with honking noses and farting sounds. Why can't we provide high-class entertainment instead? <laughs> and what would that be? How about theater? <laughs> theater? Nobody understands those pompous blowhards. Do you know why people love the circus? Because they don't have to think too hard. Ah, I get it. If somebody is in search of a real knucklehead, he can come straight to me and... His search is over. Hey, <laughs> wait a second. All right, all right. The theater idea is off, but... I've written a couple of poems. Oh, please, spare me your poems. Believe me, nobody needs your cerebral whining. I sneak to the mirror in the darkest of night. I stare at my image and just see the clown. The louder he laughs, the harder I fight. Oh, sinister world full of hardship and frowns. Well, Sadwick. That's exactly why nobody likes you. If you really must write poems, why not some funny limericks? Limericks? There once was a young circus clown who imagined the sky falling down. He imagined so bad that it made him quite sad. On his face, he wore always a frown. <laughs> okay, no poems then, but Hmm, this is going to be one of those games where it takes forever to get through all the dialogue options. But you don't want to skip something because it might be important. So the, 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 the voice acting seems to be... There's like no pauses, it's like jam together. How about philosophy? What kind of thing? What could be more entertaining than getting to grips with the very nature of existence? Not getting to grips with it. Do you have more of those terrific all ideas? Of them. I'd like to do something intelligent, is all. Listen, we make good money without producing anything. What could possibly be more intelligent? You're right. The circus is the only worthwhile form of entertainment. Spare me your sarcasm. Nobody likes that kind of humor. Now, go and practice your do. burping alphabet. <coughs> or the human cannonball act. 
My nightmares must mean something. Nonsense. Dreams are for losers. The same with your books and your poems. It's time you got a grip on reality, the serious side of life. Does that ring any bells? Hmm. You mean colorful balls and makeup? Geez, Sadwick. You're a real pain. You need to wake up and be productive. Is there anything I can do? Don't tell me you forgot your chores again. I even wrote them down for you. Oh, those. Uh, that's not what I meant. Yeah. I'd like to do something more important with my time. Something meaningful. Not this depressing day-to-day -day routine. The sooner you do what you're supposed to, the sooner you can... Hey! Don't you roll your eyes like that, young man. Responsibility is still responsibility. You could start by giving Spot something to drink. See you. Yep, see you. And don't forget, keep smiling. You're a clown. Remember? <sighs> I'm the most depressed clown ever. I'm not thirsty. At least, not enough to drink this. After all, Grandpa's pantaloons have been washed in it. The water looks downright cloudy. No, wait. That's just a reflection of my face. Aww, poor guy. I'll wash my hands later. I've got the feeling I'll get my hands dirty a couple more times today. Can I take some of the laundry? Why not have a guess? My guess is... No. Bravo! You guessed right. And now get back to work again. Keep your hands off the laundry. You'll only soil them again. Hmm, okay. Let's go talk to Grandpa. Hey, more stuff over here. Uh, hello, Grandpa. Freaky. Oh, hello, Ben. You look different. Is, is that a new hat you're wearing? I'm not Ben, Grandpa. I know, Ben. They don't make hats like they used to anymore. I'm Sadwick. When I was a little clown, we used to wear real hats with big fern bubbles. Sadwick, your grandson. I could knock out a full-grown ox with my bubbles. <sighs> I know that. Poor animal. But that's the way people like their hats back then. Now, what can I do for you, Ben? I wish you wouldn't always mistake me for Ben. I know. The world is a veil of tears when you're young. Everybody's against you. But there are worse things than tight hats and pinching shirt sleeves, you know. I'm paying close attention to your words of wisdom, like always. <laughs> when you're old, there are tight pains and pinching pantaloons, too. Then this, my boy, is the most important lesson to take into old age. Loose-fitting pantaloons are the most loyal friends you could ever ask for. Heavens, did he manage to bring his pantaloons into the conversation again? Hmm. Those are definitely worse to live by. Let's see here. I had one of those terrible nightmares again. There's a cute saying I remember from my boyhood on that very subject. <laughs> what was it? There, I forgot. You mean the old saying, dreams are ten a penny? What? That's nonsense. Dreams are not ten a penny. I once knew a guy who, who sold dreams at considerably higher prices. <laughs> Now that I think of it, uh, that guy might have been me. Who in the world bought dreams? No one. Well, that was where the plan fell short. Ah, but it was worth a try. There are always fools who spend money on any little nonsense. Say, Grandpa, you've seen a lot of things in your time, haven't you? <laughs> you can say that again. You can ask me whatever you will. Uh, whatever you can carry. What?
Autumn what forest. do you know about the Autumn Forest? Ah, the Autumn Forest is a, it's an enchanted place full of mystery. Strange creatures dwell there, but, but not as many nowadays as in the past. In ancient times, lots of diverse tribes lived there. Ah, you can still find traces of them in, in, in ruins and in, in caves. When I was a child, half the valley was submerged under water. Now, there's only that little lake with the island. That's all I can remember at the moment. That's not surprising. You'd even forget the color of your hair if you didn't look in the mirror regularly. <laughs> but I still know that it starts with a G. That doesn't count. You're just guessing. But I'm right. Why? Yes, um... See? And uh, that's the word. That's all I need to know. Uh, please let it be... Oh, The game crashed on me. And it probably didn't even save my place. Agree. I can't believe that happened. That kind of sucked. <sighs> but I have to go through that whole thing again. I hope it doesn't work after that. If it resorts to that, I won't uh, force you guys to watch that again. Okay, I gotta continue game. I'm hopeful. Okay, I think... Let's see here. Have I talked to Ben yet? Hi, Ben. Hi, sleepyhead. How often do I have to tell you? Rehearsals. It's not my sledge. Now pull your up. You're sup. Okay, so I haven't talked to these guys yet. And it sounds like. Wins our neck up. This evening. Get, Get some. Just. You can juggle. You can throw. You can. I'm what? And. I've also. I. 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 Oh, what is. What? There one who is. Oh. How. Uh, do you. If he is. Oh. What? No. I don't know this one. My drinks. It's the serious side of life. Does that ring any bells? <laughs> you. Is there a I I some that the soon respond you could. See you. Yep, yeah, and you're. <laughs> Might as well stay here. I'll go and save the game. Seems to have a few bits of Let's get that. Let me see if I can save right here. Grandpa without crashing the game. Ah, uh, hello, Grandpa. Oh, hello, Ben. You look to I'm not Ben. I know Ben. They don't make I'm what I said. I <sighs> I mark that now. I wish you wouldn't always mistake me for Ben. I know. The world is a veil of tears when you're young. Everybody's against you. But there are worse things. And tight hats and pinching shirts. I'm dead, Ben. Look, heavens. Did he? I ain't one of them. You water it? Oh, no. See, you heard what? Okay, so this is. What do you know about the autumn forest? Very crash ah, the autumn forest is a, it's an enchanted place full of mystery. Strange creatures dwell there, but, but not as many nowadays as in the past. In ancient times, lots of diverse tribes lived there. Ah, you can still find traces of them in, in, in ruins and in, in caves. When I was a child, half the valley was submerged under water. Now, 
It's only that little lake with the island. That's all I can remember. I feel like going there. <laughs> That's not surprising. You'd even forget the color of your hair if you didn't look in the mirror regularly. <laughs> but I still know that it starts with a G. That doesn't count. You're just guessing. But I'm right. Why? Yes, uh, see? Uh, that's, uh, that's all I need to know. Uh, please let it be green. <laughs> Do you know anything about nightmares and visions? I know enough that I can't give a profound opinion about them. Only hmm. real oracles can interpret dreams. And they're the only ones that can tell you if it was a vision of some sort. I once thought I had a vision too, you know. Ah, yes, an angel appeared and told me that one day my pantaloons would save the world. <laughs> I was so oh, excited. We? I went on pilgrimages, gathered disciples around me and performed services and all that without ever changing my pants. Finally, a, a, a gypsy told me that it had only been a nightmare. Oh, Ben, you can hardly imagine how embarrassed I was. Five years in a monastery, simply because I had chili casserole before bedtime. <laughs> you know what? I'll just look it up myself. Yes, yes, yes. Couldn't hurt. I might still seem quite bright in the head, <laughs> but sometimes the details get a little mixed up. See you later. Cheer up, Ben. What if I don't want to cheer up? Trap. Alright, well, I think I will explore this area next time. It looks like there's a number of things. We've got the trap, we've got spot, we've got this trailer, and uh, we've got this whole world to explore. So, yeah, I think it'll do it for part one. Um, except for the crashing. I like the world, I just don't like the amount of dialogue. It's a little bit much. <laughs> you want to go out and explore the world instead of talking to people. That was exciting. Alright, so I'll just save it. And I'll see you guys for part two.